forever um, brahmatal trek has been in the shadow of this magnificent roopkund trek which is very famous and very popular only when i got an opportunity to do this trek did i realize how wrong i was and how beautiful and a worthy trek brahmatal was to do in its own right brahmatal to me uh, it's a it's a perfect combination of beauty and adventure uh, especially if you are doing in winter uh, it adds that flavor of adventure to it and you are doing in the lap of mount nanda gumti and mount trishul and uh, you can't ask any any more than that the trek from tilandi to the brahmata lake which is almost a ridge walk is mesmerizing in its own right because on one side you have trishul and nanda gumti stretched out um, with all its uh, smaller mountains and smaller ranges and you see it crystal clear you see each fold in the mountain and on the other side you have something totally different you have rolling hills rolling down many many hundreds of miles away almost up to uh, deval and beyond you can also compare it with with your own life of having two perspectives of everything that you have in your life and which one do you choose and sometimes you just walk in between and let things come up as as they are when i crossed that section of trees and i saw mount trishul standing right in front of me i was on my knees and uh, i was on my knees i was crying and i feel that for the first time i actually felt love in my heart trishul We've discussed this. I mean, trek leaders keep talking about this, which is the most beautiful mountain, and Trishul definitely is one of the most beautiful mountain. From there, it's so elegant, so graceful. Whenever I think, I think about Dromatal uh, trek. The first thing that comes to me, my mind is always the forest walk. I still remember the setting. I think we walked in, and suddenly there was this nice. Dense forest patch. There were rhododendrons, oak, and there was even a fallen tree uh, or a hanging tree. So it was really magical. And adding to that, we also could hear the stream right behind. I've been through so many forest treks, but uh, but I think what I kind of felt in that entire moment was very very different. The first campsite. Gujarani about uh, 15 20 minutes before you reach the campsite there's a little stream that you have to cross uh, there's a bridge and you cross that stream and you start noticing huge rhododendron trees and uh, those trees kind of form like an arch at first it's sparse and then they start getting thicker and thicker and they start forming an arch over your head and you're walking under those pink rhododendron trees and it's an overwhelming feeling one time uh, when i went to gujrani i was expecting a green carpet it was spring i was expecting a green carpet but i went there there was fresh snow the entire campsite was white and in that white background those pink rhodos i just wanted to fall in love that campsite made me want to fall in love For me, the biggest highlight of Brahmatal trek is the Tilandi campsite. You know, it's like a dream come true campsite. You are on a ridge, and it's windy, and uh, you know, it's just open all throughout. In one of the nights, I just opened up my tent, and the moment I got out, and I looked up, the the word that came out from my mouth was "Wow, wow, and wow," and I didn't have any other wo better word to. say anything because the night sky was so beautiful like i could see the milky way stretching all the way from one end um of the horizon to the other end and the very day we had also seen a beautiful sunset where you see those alpine glow in the mountains i don't know how many treks do we actually get to see that 
but seeing that Al alpine glow on uh, mount trishul nanda ghumti and the sun setting and everybody was sitting and you won't believe everybody started to cry including myself because i don't know this is something that happens in the mountains that you have tears out of no reason when i say bekal tal it's a proper circle you can say you don't have any other distractions either you see trees either you sky or lake so i was in center of all these three and when you are in that quiet zone suddenly you will get this droplet sounds or the insect just jump from one corner to other end you get that something like that sound and you just look here you'll see some sound you look here you'll see some sound and though i was leading a group i had that my own space just by observing the lake listening to the sounds and that is a good place which i felt because i practice lot of sound therapy that is a place where i sat for long time and i was doing slow meditation and just listening to the sounds the brahmata lake is crystal blue in color and it doesn't have much life in it but the reflections uh, the cloud play everything that you see that lone tree that stands i think it's picture perfect uh, we all want to see deep blue lakes and that is what brahmata is for you Usually we do stargazing above, look up and do. But Brahmatal is a lake where first time I was doing looking at the lake because the entire stars were reflecting down. That is one of the best moments of my entire trekking experience because I never felt that kind of experience in any other trek. There are there are many other treks which has got. equally profound and um um great feelings to go with but brahmatal is one one trek with you i actually feel that i'm i'm connecting to myself stronger video made you want to be at brahmatal to actually see mount trishul nanda ghunti bekaltal brahmatal for yourself then make sure you go ahead and look at the information about the trek and register for it you'll find all the information about brahmatal in the link in the description below we also have beautiful videos about brahmatal in a separate playlist make sure you don't miss out on them On the other hand we are continuously bringing out such videos celebrating the mountains and different treks of our country. We also have lots of trekking tips to make you a more informed knowledgeable trekker. So make sure you hit like on this video and the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell icon because otherwise you'll miss out on all our upcoming videos. So make sure you hit the bell icon as well. If you need more information we're always available on info@indiahikes.com. and we are always available on instagram and linkedin as well so make sure you get in touch there we'll be back with more soon thank you for watching